Alrighty guys, so for today, I actually <laughs> decluttered our pantry and I just wanted to show you really quickly. We got rid of all this stuff over here. Um, a lot of this is stuff that like my mom buys and then she doesn't use and then she sends home with us. That's like quite a bit of stuff that's in here. Like these noodles, she was literally just gonna throw them away and I was like, I'll take them. I thought we would eat them, but since we're not eating them, I guess even if we won't eat them, we can donate them. So obviously like that's better than her throwing them out. Like these breadcrumbs she sent home with us. Like all kinds of stuff in here. Just like stuff that she sent home with us. Some of this stuff is also stuff that I've bought that we ended up not liking. Um, or just things that we have way too much of. Like these teas from Tivana that my aunt bought Madison for Christmas. I She asked me what she should get Madison for Christmas I think a while ago. Like two years ago maybe. And I told her tea because Madison was super into tea. And we got so much and we had never... Like, we never went through all of it. There's some stuff in here from, like, my dumpster diving days. Like, food that we found back then. Just all kinds of stuff. But, obviously, there's a ton of stuff in here. So, we decluttered that for today. And I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to take this and donate it also to um, a food pantry. So, maybe I'll be able to take you guys along with me. I have to go do it tomorrow if I'm going to take you with me. But, because tomorrow's the last day I have time to do that before this challenge is all over with. We kind of gone through everything and decided what we're going to declutter. But I want to do like one big trip to the place where we're going to donate a lot of stuff. So I don't have to keep going back and forth and back and forth. That's why the chest is still over there and like some other stuff. Um, But let me turn this around and show you our pantry because I'm so proud of it. So the top of our pantry is like my cleaning stuff. Um, like these, this is empty, but I'm saving it for bulk spices. That's empty. Um, I'm saving it for DIY stuff. My Misto, my all-purpose cleaning spray, citric acid, toilet tabs, uh, measuring cup. Club. <laughs> and then the top shelf is mostly our bulk stuff or things that like these are I didn't buy these in bulk But like I opened a pasta box. And I needed to store it. So it didn't get um, all like, you know, what do you call it? Like oh Geez, it didn't get weebles in it and stuff like that. This is leftover seasoned salt that I got from Chili's uh, nuts beans chia seeds uh, Popcorn I put all these spices in this little uh, container which is so cool this came in super handy I'm gonna have to get some more of those and then after that drawer or shelf whatever you call it we have this shelf um, there's some more things I got in bulk like granola and spaghetti and more beans and stuff and then like spices or sauces and things like that um, and then pepperoncini's sriracha my favorite thing ever uh, organic, organic, whatever, vinegar, other vinegar, uh, stuff like that. And then there's more processed, like, boo-boo stuff down there, um, that we don't buy as often, but, oh my god, what is that? This pantry is such a, was such a mess, but most of the essentials are here and there, so that is our wonderfully clean pantry that I am so super proud of. It's a big improvement getting all that stuff out of there, so, yeah, that's it for today. All right, guys, we are really coming down to, like, the very end of this now, and I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited right now because I just came up with a really cool giveaway idea for my email list. If you're not on my email list, um, definitely go get on there because I send out emails. Right now, oh, my God, do you see this? Jesus. Anyway, right now, I send out emails to my secret email list every other Monday, and usually there's something called a secret video in there, um, just like a secret little thing for my insiders is kind of how I think of it. And this week, this Monday, so two days after you're seeing this, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for some like luxury skincare. Um, and it's going to be really, really cool. So if you're not already on my secret email list, definitely go join that. Um, so you can enter to win on Monday. But, so, yeah, I cleaned out under my sink just now. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm getting rid of for today's decluttering mission. And then I'm going to finally take all the stuff we've talked about already to the thrift store today. I'm taking that stuff. I'm finally taking the food stuff that's still over there. Um, the shelves, supposedly, someone is coming to pick them up today. So, fingers crossed that actually happens. And... Yeah, anyway, so this is some stuff I'm getting rid of. This is gonna, what's going to be in the giveaway. Uh, it's like a lotion a, or like a face cream, a serum, an exfoliating body bar, and a cleanser. Oh, my goodness. So this is one, two, four things right there I'm getting rid of. Also, this I'm going to sell on the 
dumpster diving diaries page and then we can go into my bathroom so you can see the rest of the disaster this box is full of stuff that i'm also getting rid of i thought we got rid of this a long time ago but apparently not um i also am getting rid of some things that like my family's given me plastic toothbrushes we can donate um like skincare stuff random stuff that's like relatively new um some cotton rounds to pick things all that sort of stuff. This is definitely, again, I'm not going to count each individual thing. But do you believe me? Do you believe me that there's enough stuff in here? I don't know if you do or not. But I'm telling you there is. And then I'm selling all this stuff also on the dumpster diving. Oh, my goodness. On the dumpster diving diaries page. Um, most of this I did find dumpster diving. This is like, what do you call this? Um, Paracon MD stuff. And some, oh, my God. <laughs> some heart stuff too so yeah getting rid of all this stuff uh that was today's mission to clean out under the sink and we are done baby oh my goodness what are you saying hey <laughs> so cute all right babe i'm looking most forward to today because we've decluttered so far like pretty much the entire house hey, in sections and now we're going back and we're going to declutter 30 random things, which I think will be a lot of fun. I'm really pumped. I'm really anxious. Why? 30 things, that's a lot of things. Yeah, but it's not at the same time, I feel. You go first. Okay, well, I'm just going to... So these shelves are actually... We're getting rid of these shelves, so that helps. This is like a large majority of it here. We did a declutter early on where we took some things off of here, and then we did another one where we took some more things off of here, and then we decided we're just getting rid of them all together. So hopefully someone's going to come pick them up in the next couple days. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and count those, even though they're not leaving today. Hopefully by the next, yeah, next couple days they'll be gone. So shelves are one, two on their own. Okay. Why are you looking at me like that? Because I'm still like, how are we going to find 30 things? Well, there's that. And then I think we're going to get rid of this canvas. I didn't ask you, but I figured you didn't care. What do you think? You're getting rid of your let's get lost canvas? Well, I'm not moving it to our next house. That's insanity. Yeah. I feel like the less words on the wall. I read a study. This is why. Because I read a study. I think I told you this a while ago when I recommended we take labels off of like everything in the house. I remember that. Yeah, but I read a study that says like your brain subconsciously reads whatever, like whatever your brain sees that has words on it. Mm, so, and it, and it, um, it like exhausts your brain. So like the less things we have with words around, um, you know, supposedly the better it will be for my mental health. <laughs> so, right. and I, yeah, we're probably, uh, we haven't really talked about this a lot, but we're probably moving soon. And that canvas has no place in our new house. So. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like how you're still sitting. You're like not even getting up. It's cold in here. Oh, okay, I well. took my heating blanket off and now I'm like. It's 68 in here, here, by the way. That's cold to Madison. We live in a garage apartment that insulation sucks. That doesn't change the temperature in here. I it's don't 68. Fuck. 68 feels like sub-zero. Anyway. Uh, okay, so yeah, so that canvas is gonna go. Uh, I painted these three canvases and I love this shelf. Part of me wants to keep it and put it in my office at the next house. What do you think about that? Get rid of the shelf, or keep the shelf. Get rid of the shelf. Really? Yep. He's thinking about it. Well, because it's really just a looking shelf. Like, it doesn't serve any purpose. Yeah, it's not functional. Get rid of it. Get rid of Albert, too. No, he has money in him. That's Albert up there, guys. Take the money out. Let's cash in. No. We're cashing out. All right, so here we go. One shelf, two shelf, three canvas, four shelf, five, six, seven canvases. So we're already up to seven. See, that wasn't bad. I think I want to get rid of this fan. What do you think about that? Yes. Ugh, I'm not even getting you. Where are you? You're there. Get <laughs> yes, get rid of it. Okay. Well, can you get up and help me? Take the shelf off the wall. Take the... Get up and help me. What the hell? All right, I'm going to put you guys down real quick. What's the task, boss? Take this off the wall, this off the wall. Are we going to speed this up? Is it going to be fast?
All right, getting rid of this and this canvas. What about my engagement ring holder? Technically, you don't use it anymore. Is that weird to get rid of it? Just don't get rid of your engagement ring. I would be a little insulted. You don't care if I keep the ring holder, though? No, it's super cool, though. Yeah, we can keep it. I just don't know where we'll keep it. Okay, we'll keep that. All right, babe, go keep going. We gotta clean them off if we gotta someone to come get them tomorrow. I'm gonna get everything off of them. So I think we're going to go ahead and part with the S and the M. So yeah, going to uh, put this in the donation pile from the shelves. Madison wants to get rid of uh, Albert. His name is Albert, but Owl, get it? Cause he's an owl. He's our piggy bank. There's a little bit of money in here, but we're gonna take it out and put it somewhere else. My moss ball died, I think. Does he look dead to you? He might be okay, we'll keep him for now. All right, the shells are clean. I'll sweep them off tomorrow or whenever someone comes to get it. Uh, the only thing I am keeping over here that Madison and I both decided we like too much to get rid of is the um, the Yosemite poster that we have. What do you call this? Sign. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's metal. We bought it when we were at Yosemite. Theodore Roosevelt and uh, John Mirror. So we're going to keep those guys. Yeah. That mirror, that mirror has to go. So if you want to put it over here in the stack of to-go's. Yeah, it's the landlord's rock. I don't know. I don't know if he'd care, but we don't need to get rid of it. It's not ours. Okay. Um, 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 um. I feel like I wrote down things and now I'm looking around for. Oh, the lamp. You put it in the pile. <clears throat> I'm excited about this one. I hate this lamp. It's ugly. It's not ugly. It's pretty ugly. It's cute. Hmm. What are you doing? What else? Um. What else should we declutter? Oh, I see something. I know we should get rid of that. I just don't know. You never used it. I know. Well, we. So I bought this to try out the bitumen charcoal that's in there for cleaning out our water and then I went to put it in the fridge and it didn't fit so it's been up there ever since so I can get rid of that tomorrow it's dark outside right now so I can't go like drain that and do all that stuff but I'll get rid of that tomorrow do you want to count that counted all right what else you want to help yes you something to say so oh oh I know babe those bottom two shelves of the bedroom See right there? I don't know what's in them. Um, we probably shouldn't go over there. There are some things we can get rid of over there, you don't think so? Uh, we don't have to show everything that's over there, but go see if there's anything we can get rid of from in there. There are some adult uh, things in there, guys. That's why Madison's being all weird. Is this a breast pump? What? Oh, that's the new alarm clock. Uh, oh, I found something. What is it? Stop! <laughs> oh, let's see. You stash that over here. Well, I didn't know where else to put it. This is hasn't been unpacked. Un or it's unopened. Yeah, because I bought it for you and then you didn't really need it. Do you think we should keep it or should we get rid of it? I guess we should keep it. This is pictures and looks like a stash of so Clothes, maybe? Clothes? Well, I think know. they're yours. Go through them. I feel like I can't see anything. Let me get a light. There we go. Can you go through them for me? Tippy, why are you sitting right where I need you to not be? Who bought me that? Tippy, come here. Come over here. Shit, hold on, babe. They can't see anything because Tippy's in the way. Okay. 
That's one thing. Oh, that's from Yosemite. Yosemite shirt. I'll keep that. And that's a guy with a cool beard. Why are those under there, I wonder? We can get rid of that one. Throw that gray shirt in that green tub right there. No, 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 no. Right there. Green bin. Yup, right there. This is yellow. No, it's not. Are you serious? This is yellow. My room theme has always been green and blue, and you think those are yellow? It's literally like, after you haven't had water for a long time, yellow. Madison toys. That's your pea color. You're crazy. Ugly. Okay, what's another one? Sheet. I think we should keep that. And what is this? Uh, other sheet. Tippy just really wants to be in the way as much as possible. I believe oh, should we get it? Oh, that's all that's in there. Can you fold that sheet up better than that? What in the world? <laughs> Should I Marie Condor the sheet? You could is fold name, it. Is her name Condor like the bird or Condo? You're not going to fold that. It's good. It's folded. This is my life, guys. There. It's perfect. All right. We still have to find more <laughs> things. I feel like I had ideas and now that we're coming down to it, I can't think of anything else. I already did those. Ooh. What else? The pots and pans that we never use. What? The walk thought it was gonna Are be. Are you easy. kidding me? Haven't used the walk in like forever. Stretch cutie. I told you we were never gonna use that thing. What? You walk. sure we'll never want it when we have a real kitchen though? Uh, negative. It's basically a overrated frying pan. I'm pretty sure I tried to tell you that. What? 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 What the fuck is this? It's to make my toilet tabs. Oh, so we need it. Yes. What the fuck is this? Baby, are you gonna try to fit yourself in a walk? What is this? It's a silicone baking mat. Do we need it? Yes. When do we bake? When we have a house. <laughs> oh, careful, I'm keeping those. This needs to go. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Is it an Instapot? Rice cooker. I'll show you how to cook some rice. You I'm suck at cooking rice. I'm a rice cooking expert. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like we don't use this stuff now, but will we use it in the future? No. Okay. Gone. Oh my lord. Alrighty, so show them the cabinet, babe. That How good it looks now. Much more organized and easy to keep clean, I hope. Really, we just throw things down there when we empty the drying rack, but what are you doing? I'm showing it off. Mm. All right, but we're decluttering these things. This guy doesn't have a lid. Um, that's frustrating. This, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that's from. I don't know where the jar is to that either. This pot we never, ever use. Same thing with this pan. Actually, yeah, it literally looks like we never even use it. Um, and then a strainer because we already have two other ones. A steamer because we got a new steamer from the thrift store the other day. The wok that I told Madison we were never going to utilize. And the rice cooker that I feel like we could utilize but we don't so. Bye bye. Boop. <laughs> Did mommy turn you into a weird kitty? He likes his belly rubs. What's wrong with that? Mommy turned you into a weird kitty. No. He likes it. Yeah, that's weird. No. It's normal. Woo! Yeah, I'm a weird kitty cat. What? Hmm? 
aggressive breed. <laughs> All right, I think we might be there. I have to count. I don't know. All right, count how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The shelves. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. What about the shirts? Oh yeah, two shirts in there. 22, 23, so seven more things. Uh, I believe so. Did you oh wait. Uh, 20... What number is that? 24, 20... 24? Okay, so six more things. Also the mirror. So five more things. It's legit hard now because we've done pretty much everything. But that's why I was excited about this because I felt like it was going to be a challenge. Are you dancing? What are you? What's wrong, babe? It feels like it's past midnight. I don't know what time it is. Let's check in. It's 12.22. We have five things to go. That's kind of shitty though because it... Down. It doesn't stay airtight so it doesn't really help anything. Where did we get that? I got us from work. These aren't cut codes. Should we keep these and get rid of those? Sure. Scissors. Craft box. Which one? This one. The middle one. How about those shoes over there that are too big for you? Why do you keep them over there? Shoes. The colorful one. That's it. I'm done. There's still three more things. <laughs> what are you doing? What the? Are you decluttering your tortillas? They're fine. <laughs> I don't think so. I've never used this. <laughs> I really can't think of anything else. Can we declutter the rock? No. Get creative. Come on. Think what's in the bedroom that we could de- Where are you going? Babe? What? Where'd you go? <laughs> Knee brace. Another one? Knee brace. Keychain from China. Wow, why did you not do that when you went through your drawer? Because I only needed a certain amount of items and I achieved that certain I number. literally told you you should just get rid of everything that you don't need. And I did that because I knew this day would come. <laughs> Two things. Good night. Bye-bye. It's late, guys. Madison's over it. Good night. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so today is the last day of our declutter challenge, day 31, and also the day I have been not looking forward to and have been embarrassed about and scared, nervous, not excited to do, and that is my clothing. Look at Tibby being crazy. What? What? Anyway, that is my clothing chair in our bedroom. Um, I've mentioned to you guys before that I don't wash my clothes every time I take them off. I think it's wasteful. I think your clothing can withstand you wearing it more than once. And so whenever I take my clothes off, they don't get chunked back into the dirty clothes. They don't often get put where they're supposed to be. Um, oh, hi. <laughs> and that's also largely because they don't really have a place where they're supposed to be. Um, Dippy. Are you needy? Huh. You're so needy. 
Anyway, that's largely because they don't have a place where they're supposed to be. I need better organization. Um, and the other problem is that I have been for a long time looking at secondhand shopping as something um, that is fine for me to do. And it is. It's fine. It's not bad for the environment. It's uh, reusing, as you guys know. Um, but it's not a minimalist thing to do to just keep collecting all these clothes just because they're secondhand and just because you kind of like them. I really want to start trying to only buy things that I will wear consistently all the time. And that's been something I've struggled with since starting this lifestyle. And that's why I'm really embarrassed to show you guys this um, chair behind me. Like, I don't know if you've seen it in the past, if maybe you caught glances of it. But it's a lot of clothes that I, I they're all secondhand. Like, all these clothes are secondhand. But it's a problem... Because I take them off after wearing them, throw them in the chair with intention to wear them again, like, relatively soon, and then I don't. And then it all just turns into this big pile where I can't find anything. Um, and that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of, like, the biggest problem with, with what you're about to see. So I'm going to try to get some new organization soon. Um, I think we will be moving within the next few months. Uh, and if that happens, I don't want to get new organization before then, like spend money on it before then, because I don't really have space to put it around here. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to turn this around and show you. <sighs> okay, so this is... This is my issue. That is my, there's a chair under there. I promise there's a chair under there. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just a lot of stuff and we're going to go through it and I'm going to stop being embarrassed about it and stop like having to dig through here every time I want something and I'm just going to get it together. All I have are these plastic things here, which I hate. I'm really hoping to get, I'm really hoping to get a set of the short uh, white Alex Ikea shelves or drawers. Uh, I found the tall ones the other day um, on Facebook, so I have those. Uh, and we're going to put them in the living room. That stuff's for my camera equipment, but those are really shallow drawers. I'm looking for the ones that are kind of like bigger, but the shelf is shorter. Kind of like this one, but it has more drawers and it's white. Um, yeah, I, like I said, the problem is organization. I don't really think I'm going to have a solution to that while we live here. But I'm hoping that soon I will find those drawers and then everything will be okay. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go through here and get rid of things that I don't wear consistently. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm talking a lot because I'm really nervous. But okay, let's do this. All right. So I have this bin that I'm just going to put stuff in. And then one of you guys, I think, who was it? Oh, who was it? I can't remember who it was that told me, but one of you guys told me it's a really good idea to, uh, like, put stuff in boxes, and then when you go to the thrift store to donate things, ask them just to empty it out and get your container back. So we did that. Um, I think you would have seen that in the last episode of this series. And that's what I'm going to do again with this bin. I'm just going to fill it with things to donate. I'm also going to keep things that I think are worth putting up on Poshmark, and I'm going to put them on Poshmark. Uh, so I can sell them and get some money back. And also that makes for a better home. But some things are just not worth like keeping around and storing. I'm just going to donate them. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going through these drawers first so that as I go through this, I can organize things into here that I want to keep. So far, what I've put in here is just one pair of jeans. And then over in my maybe pile or sale pile, well, most of these I want to sell, but there's one pair that I might keep. But it's like a pair of Levi's and two pairs of Tour jeans. Like I said, everything in my closet was thrifted. I didn't buy any of this stuff new. So, yeah. But that's, that's where we're at right now, just so y'all know. I bought this from a little local store here in Austin a few years back. Like when I was still in college. And it's so cute but I forgot I even owned it because again, no organization. I don't even know where all my stuff is. So I'm hesitant to get rid of this because I really love it. I love this color. I love that it's from a small business and I love the little like detailing. So I think I might keep this guy. Where's my maybe pile? I don't know. <laughs> okay, we'll just throw it over there. Okay, so now these are cleaned out. I don't really know what I'm going to organize them in. I have two drawers in the little thing over there that you guys saw Madison declutter. I have two little, like, box drawers. They're for t-shirts and, like, 
shorts. I don't know, like shorts and leggings, tops and bottoms essentially. Um, but I think I'm gonna make one of these for like shirts that are not just like around the house. Uh, and then I'll make the other one. I don't know. I don't know what we need the other one for because I don't have any other categories at this moment. Maybe jeans, but I, I don't like one pair of jeans, so probably not. But we'll figure that out as we go. Now we're starting on the chair. My mom bought me this jingle all the way shirt, but it's like the only long sleeve shirt I own, so we're going to keep that. This is one of the things that like displays my problem with shopping very clearly. I love sweaters. I love how they look. I do wear them pretty often during this time of year, but this one is um, one that I've only worn once. It's very cute, very cozy. It just is like a rare occasion that I'll wear this one because it's not super baggy. I like really baggy clothes, probably just because I'm lazy and I like to be comfortable. This one is, it's not tight on me, but it's not big on me. Like I would have to be wearing this to an occasion, I feel. This is not one that I would just throw on. And I know that when I buy it, but yet I'm still like, it's a good deal. It's secondhand. It's pretty cute. And I talk myself into buying it when I should be talking myself out of it. It's by a company called, it says Authentic St. John's Bay. I'm probably going to sell this one on Poshmark because um, these sweaters are totally in. It's just this one is not one that I will wear like I should. And I know that, so I shouldn't hold on to these things. So I'm going to pass this along to somebody else. Love this cardigan, but this is one of those things that's like really, really hard for me to store. Like, I'm going to keep this because this is like one of my all-time favorite pieces in my wardrobe. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. The the detailing and the thickness of this, the, um, let me see if you can see it. Like, the thickness, yeah, of the knits. It's amazing. I love this. But it's so big and I only wear it during like one part of the year. Like, where do I keep it? I don't know. So... It's just another example of like my storage problem like this does not have a place in my house which causes a big problem clearly you see it behind me same thing with this love this jacket will not get rid of it because it's one of my all-time favorite finds I found this at the Goodwill bin so it probably cost me like 50 cents and it's a legit Levi's jacket so I'm not getting rid of this and I love it but it's so big it doesn't have a place to go and a lot of that is because of this house because we don't have a closet. Um, so hopefully when we move, you know, I'll have things like, you know, the basic necessities like every other person, like a closet and a kitchen. Make my life a little bit easier. My mom got me this for Christmas and I really like it. So we'll keep this. I'm finding that these are like my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. These white flowy shirts. This is absolutely one of my favorite shirts that I own and definitely not getting rid of this one. Um, it's like one of, I think like, Four, that's like my absolute favorite so definitely holding on to that all right you guys that's it the chair is empty i need to vacuum i'm gonna do that this is all the stuff that's going to donation um i'm not really sure where all this stuff comes from i guess gifts or things i i don't really know but i don't wear any of this stuff but it was all in that pile it might be like things like some of these things i know my mom gave me some of them might have been like gifts i'm not really sure but i don't wear any of that ever this is all stuff that I have worn in the past, but I don't wear consistently enough to keep around. Um, and they're all kind of things that are nicer brands that I think I can resell on Poshmark. So definitely go check out my Poshmark uh, shortly after this video, maybe a few days. Give me some time to post it and I will get that up for you. Um, but that's that's we're getting rid of. So that's clearly over 31 items for the last day. Um I do still have to organize and stuff. This pile is like miscellaneous stuff that I wear very rarely. Uh, this here, this is essentially all the clothes I wear on a normal basis, like to look nicer. These are all my around the house clothes because I'm around the house a lot. Um, I like comfy, cozy clothes, but between this and this, that's all the clothes I wear normally. So this is why I have... This is why me calling myself a minimalist has always felt weird to me because I don't 
wear a lot of the clothes I have. I just had a lot of shit sitting around that wasn't organized and I didn't know what was and wasn't what I actually wear and need. But this is like all that I wear. So this is why in my head I'm a minimalist because I essentially wear the same shit all the time. But um, that's it you guys, that's it. This is it for the decluttering challenge. We've gotten rid of over 500 items this month, which is so incredible and so exciting. And I'm very excited to kind of start over in this house, but also if we do end up moving soon, having a place that is not full of junk that we don't need and not having to do all of this as we're packing because that's what we did last time we moved we decluttered so much stuff whenever we like you know you're packing stuff up and you have to go through everything you own and you realize like how much shit you have that you don't need so i'm excited to not have to do that this time but thank you guys so so much for watching this whole decluttering series um we had a lot of fun. I do hope that we go back to regular vlogging after this. Um, I might make like a compilation video of all the like random clips of vlog footage I've gotten over the last few months when we weren't vlogging and make uh, like a just a jumble video to get that stuff out there and um, have it as memories for us because that's a big reason why we do this channel is to, you know, remember these things for us. And... I'm going to have a wrap up video for this decluttering video on my channel, kind of with what we learned and best tips and all that sort of thing. So look forward to that. And then I only realized that I have like a handful of clothing pieces and I'm also currently losing weight. I don't know if anybody can tell or knows or whatever it is, but I am. So I kind of really want to place a thread up order soon. Um, I'm looking for a few special pieces, so I might do that, but yeah, I don't know. That's it. Thank you so much. This was so much fun. I encourage any of you guys out there to do this. Yes, it takes a lot of time, but honestly, even after the first week that we started this, it was so worth it. So give it a try. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will catch you later, Mattlebees.